sitting in my office one day and Randy Butler called me and uh, asked me if I could uh, possibly provide some assistance on helping um, him prepare a grant to the YUSA or the Robert Woods Johnson's Foundation initiative on pioneering healthy communities. I became um, aware of the Pioneering Healthy Community Grants through Randy Butler at the YMCA. He attends the Dyer County Health Council meetings. The program's been going on since 2004, and to date, uh, after this year's past, there's over 138 towns across the nation that, that is named a Pioneering Healthy Community. We actually are uh, being asked to come back to our community and come, come together with groups of people um, and leaders to discover what we need to do to make our community a healthier place. And part of that uh, effort was for uh, the team to uh, go to Washington to uh, a, a seminar or orientation. It was three jam-packed days. There they brought in a lot of the leading experts on the health field. So the first morning I set in the meeting, uh, it was a presentation by the Surgeon General from the state of Arkansas. We showed you the CDC data. Here, here are the, the childhood obesity trends over the last three decades. Uh, and we've gone from where only about 5% of kids were obese, uh, same definition, uh, to where now over 17% are in our school age population. And he presented uh, some very fascinating charts that showed the migration of of the obesity epidemic in our country. And he traced that through the timeline to, to where we are today. Tennessee has selected, um, there are actually three communities or four communities in Tennessee that are part of the PhD grant. And the focus that we've chosen is childhood obesity. And we do have well over half of our students who have high BMIs, uh, some just in the overweight category, but some in the obese category. Uh, we see high blood pressures. Uh, we have um, lots of diabetic students who are type 2 diabetes, which means it's related to their weight. Um, we see a, a huge need in both school systems to address children's health. A lot of it goes to education and a lot of it goes to, to, to parents. I, I, I mean, um, uh, there's one program that's, that's working well in other states. Uh, called the 5210 Project. And basically it's asking folks to get five servings of fruits and vegetables every day. Limiting screen time to two hours a day and at least one hour of physical fitness. With uh, zero sweet drinks. If people want to walk the places rather than take their vehicle, how walkable is the area? As we pave a new road, maybe we pave a bike path. As we develop a new subdivision, maybe we go ahead and lay the sidewalks. We have a real simple uh, way of fixing a, a lot of the, the problems and making your community more healthy by giving people the opportunity to be able to walk through it. I, I suddenly became aware that there was so much more uh, that Dyersburg and Dyer County could be doing to help uh, our, our citizens be more healthy. We can let things happen and let things go as they go today. Or maybe we should be stepping back and saying, you know, maybe it's up to us. Be it sidewalks, be it helping with greenways, be it helping with community gardens. Uh, and the ball's rolling in a lot of parts of the town. And uh, at the end of the day, it, it's all about education. Um, what we'll begin with is awareness involvement with people and leaders and when people decide in our community that they want these changes then they'll probably become some policies um, so that we actually make some changes like we've already made about what kinds of snacks are available in our schools for kids and changes in school lunches. Those are policy now and they started with discussions just like we're talking about things now.